story is really a death story is really a life story you know August 9th 2006 I dropped my lady off at the airport take her off to New York to see her people and I'm strong I'm feeling good just a little sleepy had a cup of coffee dropped her off at the airport and uh, I go to work doing a little construction working with my hands 12 o'clock comes I go to the bathroom Sit there, you know, newspaper, whatever. And my stomach's talking to me. Blub, 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 blub. I'm like, oh man, diarrhea. You know? Use the bathroom. This is a little nasty. Use the bathroom. Fill the toilet up with blood. It scared me to death. Called my mother, calm, say, hey Ma, what should I do? She says, why are you talking to me? Go to the hospital. What are you doing talking to me? So I told my boss, I was starting to get lightheaded. I said, you know, take me to. To Highland, Cause I, you know, I'm working for myself, a musician, social worker, whatever. I didn't have insurance, so they took me in a Highland. And uh, well, long story short, a week later, after I had my stomach, you want to get a picture of this? Okay, let's get in the light. Mm -hmm. They cut me from here to here. Oh my God! Wow. Opened me up, had me wide open with some clear plastic over my over my stomach. Had me on the heaviest drugs. I was just as happy as could be. And uh, the day they were going to sew me back together, they found the problem. It was a five millimeter hole in my lower intestines, my small intestines, which is actually long intestines. And uh, that five millimeter hole, I'm glad they found it because I could have bled all over again. But I'm the third documented case of something they call dilophoys, dilophoys, lesion of the small bowels. And you can't catch it. And uh, it's probably like a genetic thing, but, you know, I'm supposed to be here. So that's my life story.